Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add and edit a legend in QGIS 3.10. If you need more information on how to create and export a map in QGIS, please see this longer video. So I've got the QGIS project ready to go. What we've got here is a map of towns in Vermont that are color-coded by their population. And here are those populations, each assigned to a different color. And because these are what's going to show up in the legend, I thought it was worth quickly showing you how I got those. So I right-clicked on the layer, went to Properties, and then to the Symbology tab. I'm using a graduated symbology, and I was able to decide what population intervals I wanted to use um, by determining the number of classes, using the Classify button to add them, and then you can manually enter the ranges that you want here. And what's really cool is you can also uh, adjust right here the exact text that you want to show up on the legend. So I could actually write in here just, you know, less than 587. Or I could write in here greater than 3213. So you can customize what you want to appear on the legend by updating that. Okay, so once you've done that, um, next thing to do, of course, is to just create a uh, print layout. That's going to be up here. New print layout. We'll just call it map. Uh, of course, once you get into your print layout, the first thing to do is to add the map. So there's that. Okay, so here's the map. Uh, it needs a legend. So to do that, it's going to go Add Item, Add Legend. I'm then going to left click and hold and draw the size of the legend. And here it is. Often these legends need some cleaning up. So one of the first things I notice is that um, I don't like this heading, VT Pop 2000. It's too technical. It doesn't make sense. So to change the actual text, that is kind of the header for that uh, shape file. I'm going to go back to the original QGIS, right click on that, and I'm going to go to uh, Rename Layer. And then I'm just going to type in Population. I'm going to type that exactly how I want it to appear in the legend. OK, let's go back. I find the legend doesn't update. Nothing. Oh, there it goes. Updated that. OK, great. Um, another thing I see is I've got this map extent thing that is not actually on my map. I want that to go away. So if I want to get rid of that, um, I'm going to go up here and highlight legend. I want this items, item properties box right here. If you're having trouble finding item properties, cl left click on the legend to highlight it, right click, and you can always find it down here, item properties. So I'm going to go down to Legend Items, and here's a list of the items that are in the legend. I'm going to highlight that Map Extent box, and I'm going to, I guess I don't need to highlight it. I'm going to say Only Show Items Inside the Linked Map. Okay, so that went away. That's one way to get rid of things on your legend. Now I've got this. i got this Google Satellite label. I don't really want that on my legend either. I'm going to show you a trick to get rid of that is actually to go back to the main QGIS window here and just right-click Google Satellite and rename the layer to actually just nothing. Just literally delete the name. Um, and then when you go back to your legend, uh, sure enough, it just disappears. One more thing I might like to do is make the word population in bold. For that, I'll go to Fonts and Text Formatting. That's actually going to be my subgroup heading. Uh, I'll click on that, go to Bold, Maybe make it size 14. That looks a little better. So to change the size of the legend, we're gonna, we'd first go down to this position in size where we're able to change it. However, before we try to change it, we need to actually go up and uncheck this box, Resize to Fit Contents. This has to be unchecked. Once you've unchecked that, you can go down and uh, actually manually change, for example, the height or the width of your box, get it somewhere, and there you go. Decent looking legend. Thanks for listening.